Good afternoon, everyone. This is an update on the tropics for October 27th, 2022. We are still going to be talking about that disturbance that is in the Caribbean, and this now has a 50% chance of development. We're also going to be talking a little bit about that one disturbance that is currently south of Bermuda that has a slightly lower chance of developing as of this morning. Let's get right into it here. And as you can see, looking at the satellite imagery, we really haven't noticed uh, this area to watch really develop. Yet. We haven't noticed a low pressure system forming just yet and we are going to see a low pressure form very soon as we go day by day uh, with this uh, one area to watch right here in the Caribbean. Now that has a 50% chance of developing. So 50-50 chance that this will develop into something but it also can just uh, really just kind of spin out in the Caribbean as well. We are also seeing an area to watch over here in this sort of area right there. And that now is a 40% chance of development today, uh, which again, another low pressure can definitely form and maybe form into a little cyclone or a little depression. But the main concerning right now is that one area to watch right now in the Caribbean. Here is the National Hurricane Center today. As you can see, there's that one disturbance uh, currently southwest of Bermuda. Uh, we have identified the location of the circulation, uh, which is that orange X right there. That's going to be heading north. And again, that has a 40% chance over the next five days for development. So we're watching that, but we're watching more closely the disturbance in the Caribbean, which we haven't identified any circulation with that yet. Uh, we have yet to identify any circulation because that has uh, yet to develop here. Um, but once that develops, we will definitely have more confidence that it might develop. But they're going to keep it at the 50 50 the chance for right now until that does develop in the Caribbean uh, an area of low pressure is expected to form over the eastern Caribbean Sea this week and according to the National Hurricane Center and this is possibly related to the southern portion of an existing trough of low pressure over the area environmental conditions are forecast to be conducive for gradual development and the tropical depression could form early next week while the disturbance move is generally westward or west northwestward over the central caribbean sea now looking at the gfs model today as you can see we move forward here and we can see possibly some gradual development of early next week as you can see right there but as you can see it makes a movement into the dominican republic and haiti region so it interacts with land and that actually makes it weaken it approaches jamaica there still a little dot there of uh, a low pressure and also some rain showers are surrounding that um but as you can see gfs model actually has it really has not much at all uh, however we get another system that comes off south america uh, around november 6 as well so that's just an, another little small system tropical wave that will bring thunderstorm activity uh, going back here, we have to see a little gradual development with also that one disturbance that is currently in the Bermuda region. But again, uh, as you can see, I don't see a tropical storm from today's GFS model, which is good uh, for right now. We can look at, go ahead and look at the European model from the 00Z run. Euro definitely takes notice of from the Caribbean disturbance. And as you can see, that moves westward moves westward into the Central America region, into Central America there, uh, right into Honduras as well. So that'll bring a lot of rain shower and thunderstorm activity, but not a tropical storm of development from the European model. CMC model here, uh, and I've definitely see, seen some comments concerning this weather moves towards the U.S. But as you can see, there is going to be a high pressure over here in the U.S. And this is actually going to keep it down here. As you can see, you have a high pressure of Bermuda High right here. Uh, but uh, this high pressure is just going to keep it down into the Caribbean. And it's really not going to have any threat to the U.S. as of right now. As you can see, CMC model saw some development, an interesting movement uh, right into Cuba and that high pressure keeps it down there in Cuba and really weakens it off. And then as we get to 240 hours up from now, uh, some more low pressure systems also popping up in the Caribbean. So we are nearing the, the end of hurricane season. The end of hurricane season is in about a month. Um, but as you can see, we're still seeing some still little tropical systems possibly here in the Caribbean as we go throughout the early uh, stages of November. So ICON model as well, uh, as you can see, ICON model definitely has uh, some little bit of gradual development, but not really any tropical storm strength I'm seeing. 
as of right now. But again, Icon Model really shows off the amount of rainfall and thunderstorm activity that's going to be surrounding this tropical wave that's going to be gradually going throughout this area. So this already might be seeing a flooding from this flood slides as well and stuff like that uh, from possible rainfall flooding again uh, from this tropical wave going throughout this area. I think it is going to be going through pretty slow which is again just going to increase rainfall for jamaica it's going to be increasing rainfall for haiti as well dominican republic and even going to honduras we may see some more rainfall for honduras which may lead to mudslides or flooding as well again as of right now we're still not sure on the entirety of the track i just showed four models there so that had possible tracks with them uh but as of right now, the main track, I think, right now, if this actually develops into a little low pressure system, this is going to be generally staying in the Caribbean for right now. But we will have more of these updates and more possible tracks until this actually develops. Because once this develops, we will have uh, more details on where this is going to go. Because GFS model just going wild with this with uh, kind of unrealistic scenarios. Because yesterday we saw major hurricanes. Today we've pretty much seen nothing with the GFS model. So we will keep you up to with the latest model runs. Canadian model, as you can see, it does develop down here just off the coast of uh, Northern America. And this actually makes its way over here to Cuba. This is the Canadian model that we're looking at. So this is another possible track uh, from the Canadian model. And we looked at the CMC model, which I'm pretty sure had... Uh, a similar track to it as well so we do have some ensembles here that do go into the cuba region here you have also those ensembles and models that do go over here into this area and we have of course the gfs model which kind of uh goes in and out of uh, the dominican republic and haiti as well uh turks and caicos and kind of just goes up into the northern atlantic so right now it's definitely going to be generally staying in the caribbean of course, this hasn't developed just yet, but once it does develop, we will have the latest updates here uh, from those daily uploads uh, around 2 p.m. Central Time. Um, but, but again, we have gotten a little bit of updates on possible tracks. Uh, so uh, Central America, definitely keep an eye on this. Uh, Caribbean, Cuba, uh, Jamaica, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Turks and Caicos, Puerto Rico, Lester Antilles. All keep an eye on this uh, as there are definitely a lot of different scenarios that are possible with this. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a single daily upload and updates on this upcoming possible tropical storm in the Caribbean, as well as like the video, show those friends and family that do want the information on this. But as always, I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.